Hey, Blizzard fans. We're coming to you from our offices today, or outside the office. We got a neat little, you can see it kind of off in the distance. We're having some technical difficulties because of the wind. It's very windy today. But we got, uh, we got the lovely timber torch, which would have been on outside the rest. It's, it's nice and toasty. We got Coach with us. Say, hey, Coach. Hey. And there's Ryan. And if you see a German Shepherd running around, that's my dog, Oakley. Um, so anyway, we wanted to illustrate that it is a real device, and uh, it's pretty cool. I can illustrate. I can actually pick it up and move it. It's actually warm, not cool. Yeah, it's pretty cool when it's and it's warm. Yeah. So anyway, we just wanted to say hi to you guys. It's outdoors night for the blizzard, which isn't happening. So this is the first one that we're doing about a game after we found out the season has ended. So a little doesn't feel as upbeat as it as it could. So um, as you all know, we've canceled the season, which which stinks. But uh, Corey, we asked Corey to come on the call to just kind of talk about what he's going to do in the off season now. Um, I guess coach will let you take it away. What what do you do now that the season's over? Well, now that the season is over, you know, I mean, we it's twenty twenty one now. You know, that's where the vision, that's where our goal is, is uh, moving forward, and it's it's gonna be a long off season, um, long process. But you know, I just take the positive out of uh, the season being canceled, and you know, we we just moving forward to twenty twenty one. First steps is to try to re-sign as many players as we can um, who made this final roster this year. Uh, we we'll bring, you know, whoever want to come back as of right now, talking to all 25, we have 23 of the 25 who's uh, verbally committed. Um, you know, being a realist, uh, I understand that in this long off season and once the economy open back up, uh, there's a chance that, you know, some of these guys may fall, fall off, um, you know, with job opportunities and um, different career moves or whatnot. Uh, who knows what January of 2021 may hold uh, for a lot of these young men. So, um, it's right now, it's going to be recruiting. Um, uh, we open it. It's, it's a lot of talent out there um, with different leagues folding and, and not coming back. So um, I could just imagine the inbox would be full. Um, it, it's already starting to blow up on Facebook as far as my personal Facebook um, with, with players reaching out, um, asking if, they, if, they, if it's an opportunity for them to come in and uh, be a part of us next year. Uh, so uh, it's recruiting and watching film. Um, the process has already begun. Um, the coaching staff, uh, you know, we all we all talked. We we actually had a Zoom meeting on um, Thursday. Uh, it was a lot of a lot of fun. I got, I, I tell you what, uh, the, the coaches is a good group of young men um, who uh, believe in us as an organization, believe in me as the head coach, and um, they all on board to come back next year. So I think that's great. So uh, I, I, I mean, it's still a lot of work to do. Um, our goal is to win a championship. Um, as long as that mindset never change, which it won't, as long as I'm at the helm and. Uh, you know, I, I, I can see a positive uh, 2021 for us. Yeah, I would agree. I mean, we, like I said before, we put all this out on Monday that we were shutting down the season. And Ryan, you've heard from sponsors. You've heard from fans already um, wanting to take their tickets and move them into 2021. I mean, what's that What's that feel like? I mean, you're, you're giving them bad news, but they've been taking it pretty good. Can you hear Ryan? Nope. No. All right. You got to put your phone on. I'll shut mine off. You got me now, Corey? Yep. Perfect. Yeah, it's been it's been really cool. I said I, I messaged Kathy earlier this week, and I kind of got choked up because in the bad, um, we had a lot of good responses from season ticket holders and partners. Um, some folks wanting to take better tickets if they open up, if people don't come back. Um, so it's been really, really great to hear from that group. And there's still a lot of uncertainty when we talked to some of the business owners and some of that group, but um, overwhelming support uh, and in it togetherness. I just made up in it togetherness word. That's fair. <laughs> Sorry, my face is on fire. <laughs> no, it's, it's been great. Um, and there's still a lot to work there. Obviously, that'll probably tie up into May for me, making sure we're all good there and then getting ready to move forward. Um, 
with an eighth game and adding an eighth theme and stuff like that once we make sure the list of current partners is all good. And I am rocking, speaking of themes, we got the outdoors night hat on. Pretty awesome. We'll leave the hat here covered. But we're excited to get this one back on the books too. Our friends from Maverick and Ken Sports are all in, so and we'll definitely light some fires and kick the tires. I think that's Maverick. I think that's Top Gun. <laughs> I'll give it back to Kathy so we don't get wicked feedback on my phone. She's still on mute. There we go. Now you can hear me. There we I'm, go. I'm bringing, I'm bringing in the timber torch. Um, this is a pretty cool unit. Um, really cool unit. It started so fast. We had a, a couple of eyebrows being raised as we brought it out here because who starts a fire in the middle of a parking lot? But we did. Um, Anyway, you know, Ryan mentioned something that I think I've seen a lot of people on Facebook complaining about, and that's their hair. Um, I'll tell you what, Ralph, if, if, you, if you can't come back in soon, this hair, you can see this? This hair just keeps getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Right now it's in the wind, but um, I'm going to do something that I never do. And thank you to the, the folks at MCL Outdoors. Um, I'm actually putting a hat on, which I never do. Ever. <laughs> and Corey's got his hair covered up too. Yeah. So yeah. We're all having hair hair withdrawal. <laughs> In dire need of some hair hair issues here. But uh anyway, we just wanted to um oh I knocked my drink over. We just wanted to get together with everybody and say we wish we were doing an outdoor night. Uh we wish that we had a different different news to bring to you today that would include, you know, we're bringing the season back because we found out we can. Unfortunately, here in Wisconsin, we just found out that it's going to be another five weeks. So we actually won't um, have our order lifted until after Memorial Day weekend. So that's, that's a long time. Um, and as we said before, the whole idea of having an abbreviated season would be to have a competitive abbreviated season. So um, financially, as well as for our players, just playing a couple of games just didn't cut it. So, um, again, we're, we're not feeling good about what we're doing, but as, as you guys heard from Bayer, if you've been watching, uh, Ryan's videos, you got to put, you got to do the half, the glass half full at this point. You got to do the, where's the positive in all of this? And the positive is that uh, we have a season next year. We have a season that's already preloaded, which is pretty cool. Um, stay tuned to Ryan and I, because we're going to be coming up with some merch ideas in the off season. You guys are going to be sick of hearing from us. I can tell you that. Um, but we, we, we're going to make the most of this. We're going to make the best of this. And that's all that we really can do at this point. And, and we're all in the same boat. I mean, there's, there's nobody that wanted this season probably more than the three of us. I mean, it was to prove something, to prove our numbers, to prove that the things we've done to change how we do what we do at the Blizzard would work. Um, Corey to have a little more momentum going into the season as the head coach and uh, coming off of a good season. So yeah, there's a, a lot that we wanted to, you know, bring to you guys in a positive light. Um, I do have two shout outs that I want to do today. Um, and one is to Aurora Baycare. Um, they have stood by us in this whole transition and our trainer, Brooke, which we'll have Brooke on at some point, but Brooke has been excellent for the guys that have stayed in town. Um, the protocol that they have to go through at Aurora in um, potential COVID cases, as well as if there is a confirmed case, we haven't had a confirmed case within our blizzard structure, but if we had anybody that had the sniffles, there was a protocol that she went through that I was amazed. Corey, did, weren't you amazed by that when she would send us those reports? Absolutely. Yeah, Brooke has been an ultimate professional, um, and, and especially uh, when it comes to the care for our young men. And, you know, she's thorough. It's thorough. It's, 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 uh, it's, it's bullet pointed, planned out what, what we're doing. And, you know, we had a guy who, you know, 
he had it as a regular common cold, but I mean, she took the steps properly. Doctors got involved and over at Aurora and it, it was great. Yeah, so I, I wanted to give them a shout out. And then the other one that I wanna give a shout out to, because I think this has been extremely difficult um, on Ryan, who's sitting next to me. And he just looked at me like, what, what are you doing? Um, so you guys don't realize how much work Ryan puts into the season uh, beforehand and even during. And there's days where um, he'd come to me and say, I, I don't know if I could do it tomorrow. You know, this is just, this is a lot. And hearing that the season was canceled after all of the work that he's done, he's been a stellar individual and in reaching out to everybody. He's always a stellar in individual. He's one of my, he's one of, he's my, he's my bud, you know, so I can't even hug him right now. And I know he needs a hug, but we're doing our social distancing. So high five virtual. Yeah, got it. Um, so I just want to openly thank Ryan for everything that he does, um, everything he does for our fans, for our partners. We really wouldn't have this organization if it wasn't for Ryan being the glue. So I think it's really important that we acknowledge Ryan and thank Ryan for everything that, that he's done to keep the blizzard together um, and moving forward. So I want to, I just wanted to give you a shout out because you've been giving shout outs to all. <laughs> it's smoke. He's got, he's got smoke, smoke in his eyes. <laughs> Um, and I got sunglasses. I, I wanna, so you can't do what I'm doing. Are your eyes? I want to uh, pick. I want to piggyback on that. Ryan has been a rock on both sides of the house with football operations and sales, and you know we can't thank him enough for everything that he's done. I mean, the food vouchers, the housing, um, the vehicle transportation for the guys, as far as uh, you know, our vehicle when, when we get from um, one of our sponsors, it's been top notch. And uh, you know, Ryan, you made you made this transition for me a lot easier as well. Um, when the transition happens. So I want to say thank you as well, because everything that you've done and, you know, you know, you, I mean, you could have gave it all back to me with all the responsibilities, but you've been taking, you, you've been rolling with it. And he's speechless. Oh, wait, he's on mute. Never mind. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, so I think that's really all that I had. Ryan, I don't know if you want to add anything in. Yeah, thank you guys. That was not expected, so I, I appreciate it. I work with some pretty good people um, from the Tranquilogist to Corey, Selena, um, and all of our partners and season ticket holders. So I appreciate it. Um, that was definitely unexpected, so I really appreciate it. Yeah, I, I wanted to prove the numbers, like Kathy said. I um, wanted to prove that Joe was just a pretty face and not a good sales guy. <laughs> Hope you're watching this, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> thought I'd get that dig in. So, Joe, much much love and much respect. I hope you're hanging in there in Minnesota. So, <laughs> no, but I, it's unexpected. You guys make it easy. So, thank you. Um, and thank you to people that have been just good human beings, as I've been calling and emailing this week. Um, I got kiddos and a wife who is a nurse. So, um, I feel, like, definitely in it with you guys. So, I just appreciate the the human responses and not really the anger in the whole ticketing process so it's been awesome i'm gonna unmute kathy you want to tell them where you are kathy's on a scenic tour unmute yeah i'm just kind of doing all sorts of crazy stuff here i'm just showing what's around our offices so d2 big shout out to d2 um they house our offices and there's many a meal that we have at d2 so we haven't had joe on yet but Joe runs a great establishment here, and I urge all of you that can to come do some takeout with them. Um, you'll notice, and, and some people don't know this about the Blizzard if you're checking in from another team, we are literally, I'm going to kind of walk away for a little bit here and show you just what famous structure we are very, very close to. So, Ryan, take it over for just a little bit. Am I unmuted? You got me, Corey? Yeah, I got you. All right, cool. No, I, uh, I, we were looking forward to outdoors night. We're looking forward to running those themes back again and coming up with a, a theme for next year. I think we may do one of these videos or one of these Facebook posts and we'll let fans weigh in what a cool theme night would be. Um, I think that'd be really fun. Spy night's coming back, regardless of where 25 years of Bond is or Black Widow, which is a lot of the reason we did that night this year. Um, we're too excited to run spy night and do some of the neat spy trivia. We have a black, white, and green game ball that we'll reveal at some point. Um, and I won't let the cat out of the bag on the other uniform secret that Corey and I and Kathy have been working on. Um, 
I think it's appropriate that it's a secret because it's a spy night, but that night we'll be back. Um, who knows when Bond 25 or Black Widow will land at this point anyways with the theaters getting to reopen or not. So, um, But we're looking forward to an eighth team. So that's, that's a lot of fun and a lot of what I've enjoyed over these six years getting to dream up some of the things like Laser Show Night, Sanctus Real, Spy Night, Superhero Villain Night. Um, I think that's a lot of what makes Blizzard football different. Yeah, I think Kathy might have to zoom in a little bit. Yeah, I can't. I'm I'm having an issue with that. For some reason. <laughs> okay. You can't see what I'm what famous structure I'm walking towards. Um, oh G, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the G's that you're seeing everywhere don't stand for Green Bay Blizzard. Um, just wanted to show you guys. This is our rest center. This is where we play. And then right down the street, literally, because my dog's peeing on a fire hydrant. Oh, <laughs> nice. Um, that right down there is Lambeau Field. So. We are in some historic uh, football, er we're in a historic football area, and um, our arena is being added onto right now, actually, they're in the midst of building that up, but in the background, you can see, it's way in the background, you can see Lambeau Field. Um, and the practice facility is right across the street. There is, I am actually now showing the practice facility, which is right there. That yeah. is our facility. I've been six feet away from Kathy this whole video, just so we're clear. I am definitely six feet away from Kathy right now. I'm pretty sure she's on the fifth. She's on the fifty of Lambo right now. <laughs> yeah. If I had to add anything, I would I would say just stay safe, everyone. You know, you just continue to uh, practice the uh, social distancing, and um, you know, let's let's overcome this all together and, and practice safe habits, man. And uh, so we can all get out there and finish playing some football, or you know, fall sports could come around. These seniors could graduate. Um, and, I mean, that that might be a long shot because it's right in June, but um, you know, fall sports especially, so they 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 could be able to play. Fans could enjoy the games by going to the game. So, you know, let's continue to practice this, uh, you know, the things that government or whomever may be putting in place for us uh, so we, that we could get over this this virus disease that's going on. Yeah, I think it's it's um, probably our theme should be at this point to stay healthy. In order to stay healthy, yeah, I get the social distancing thing, but you also got to take care of internally. What are you eating? I get that you're sitting at home and being dormant, but get your butts outside. It's literally, go outside. It's going to start getting nicer in Wisconsin now. Um, I know our parks are closed, but go for a walk with your kids. Um, again, when Bear was on last night, he was talking about going for a three-mile walk every day. You know, part of beating this disease is boosting your immune system. So, in order for your immune system to be intact, you have to be eating right, you have to be exercising, uh, you got to take care of yourselves. And we as a nation, although for the most part, most of us are healthy, there's a lot we could do to, uh, you know, shed a couple of pounds or just become more active. So I, for one, am, am starting that. Um, right now, I look like, you know what I feel like? I feel like the guys that do the Ditka show, the, the bears, the bears. The bears. That's what I feel like right now. <laughs> anyway, that was like a way segue. There's like, there's like no rhyme or reason to this call at all. None. <laughs> None other than pure entertainment value for you guys. So, um, again, we want to say stay healthy, stay safe. Thank you to all of our Art Doors people. Um, Ken Sports, which is on the hat that Ryan's sporting right now. Can't hear. Hey, uh, we lost. Uh, we lost Kathy. We lost. Uh, there we go. You, you weren't. You weren't hearing me. No. Oh. No. Not, not after you gave the shout out. No, oh, I gave the shout out to Timber. Yeah. To the, uh, yeah. The, uh, the hat. Yeah. Oh, so Ken Sports on the hat. And then uh, the Timber Torch, um, a great unit. Check it out online. Uh, I was amazed at how easy the fire started. 
and uh, there's a fan in there. We could be playing music out of there, but we got enough technical difficulties. We didn't want to, didn't want to do that as well. But I mean, it's kicking out some great heat and we'll be able to just wheel it out of this area when we're done. So pretty cool stuff. So one of the things that I try to do to stay healthy is I, I get on this slide right here. <laughs> I go I go up and down. <laughs> I go up and down this slide about 30 times. No, I'm just playing. No. All right. So now that you said it, get your butt over there and go down that slide. I don't even know I if I can hear fit the in that little playhouse. <laughs> 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 all right you got anything else ryan um again we just wanted to say hey represent uh our sponsors with being outdoors because it was an outdoors night i know it looks like behind me this is all like white like it's a snowstorm but it's not it's just bleached out because the sun is shining, you know shining in which is a good thing it's shining down on us and want to thank the Lord for giving us another day, another week. And uh, again, st stay safe. Uh, let us know what you want to do with your tickets. Sponsors, let us know how you want to carry things forward. We'll keep you guys posted as best we can. Stay positive in this very negative time. And we will get through this. I mean, everybody is sick of hearing that we're in it together, but we are, we're in it together. So I'm going to sign off by getting really close to that camera. And then Ryan's going to do the same. So, Corey, it was nice seeing you, bud. We'll see you soon. All right, you guys, take care. Can you see me? Hey, guys, <laughs> take care. Peace out, Blizzard fans. We'll see you soon. <laughs>